Hi, Dr. Richard Bartlett here, developer of Matrix Energetics, MED, Holosets, and other stuff. Uh, sharing with you the invitation to join me for a very special event uh, starting February 21st at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Going to be doing two hour presentations, nine segments uh, on what I call basic MED, which is Master Energy Dynamics. Now, Master Energy Dynamics actually came along. I call it a gift from the angels, if there are such things in the in the universal hologram. It came along about 19, oh gosh, I have to think about that. About 1980, 89, I think it was. And I was literally in the desert and <laughs> <laughs> I was peeing on a cactus of all things because I was driving from Montana, driving Montana to California to go on my honeymoon in Hawaii. We had to drive because we couldn't afford to fly all the way. And so uh, literally I was in the desert in the middle of the night and I saw this hand come up and, and show me this symbol. And they said, and I said, what's that? And I said, it's a map. And I said, a map of what? And then, you know, angels can be very, um, interesting in their responses and said you'll find out well i did i got to i got to hawaii and uh i was there with a with a big seminar with total body modification tbm dr victor frank and about 50 doctors and i went into the ocean and experienced a calamity where i started to drown <laughs> and i got washed up on shore and when i when i hit the shore this wave lifted me up and saved my life actually and I hit this tree and I wrapped around the tree and my diaphragm went into spasm and it was very traumatic. So all these doctors, really advanced people, they were treating me with this technology that I love, still love. And as I started to recover, I started treating them. Well, that was the beginning of everything. You never know what a crashing wave is going to bring into your life. So now it's so much later it appears you know like 30 40 years later whatever it is still using this technology i still find it to be like a language that is so easy to work with and yet so powerful and so adaptable that anybody can can learn it and it's based upon working holographically i've got my little batman doll here and i've got my little k doll there um working holographically with the patterns of people's physical functions and their structures. And these things interface completely. And I think everything the body does, it does for a reason. This technology, when you learn it, it allows you to learn the strategies of that individual body and its perceptions and communicate directly with that body hologram in such a way that it can learn and adapt and change so that it continues to make better decisions than the ones it had to make in order to survive. So that's addressing the whole situation of fight or flight and how that drives everything in metabolism that even drives the structures and it certainly even drives behavior. So this seminar is going to open the doors of the magic that that whole system of technology, consciousness technology brings to the fore. And I must tell you, even with my, with, uh, all of my appointments and everything, that knowledge is very much in the front of experience every time. So I, I want to share it with you. Every time I do it, if you've, if you've attended any of those seminars with me before, they are unique to the people that are there, to the moment, and to the needs of the hour. So Kay here has volunteered to let me show you. And I've got, I'm going to, now it's not going to look like this with me teaching you initially, but I want you to know you can get so immersed in this to such a degree that it becomes a language that is just natural, just like speaking. And that's really what I want you to understand about it. It's a holistic, holographic language that communicates directly with the patterns of the body. Okay, so, okay, do you wanna tell me anything that's going on or do we just wanna guess? <laughs> <laughs> I talk to you almost every day. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh... I've been actually getting headaches lately. You know how you get that cool. that herald in your in your eyesight when you're going to get like a migraine. I'm not getting mm -hmm. migraines, but I'm getting like this low grade headache almost every single day. I'm drinking mm. water, so I don't think it's uh, that. But I don't know what you can maybe pick up with uh, MED. So, 
so if we just take that, I could I could test like this, you know, and I don't have an access. So let's see, this would be function here, but not functional, so structural. So right there already, it gives me an access into patterns. So I can pick up the skull here. I like to use props, okay, whether they're live or they're, you know, this sort of thing, or it could be a coffee cup or just a, just a pattern in the air. But I'll go here and my hands go into the head, goes into the cranium here, okay. So I can tap that in, I can put that holographically on display. Now the body, the hologram is seeing that pattern. So now is there anything related to that pattern that shows up that is connected? And because it's all about the conversation, how you form the sentences. So yeah, well, gee, what a surprise, the uterus down here. Oh, <laughs> what I what I define as hell. Uh, your, your nemesis. Okay. And, then, yeah. and then that goes to the clavicle here on on the right side that could be a meridian it's not i'm testing that all right so it's not a meridian it goes to the thyroid okay so we're tapping the thyroid now what we've got we've got the occiput we've got the headache pattern we've got the occiput in relation to the uterus in relation to this acupuncture point in relation to the thyroid all these things are in a loop you're forming essentially an equation for this pattern now where's that take us we're still in the pattern. Okay, so, oh, it takes us to the thymus. All right, so the thymus, that's kind of the immune system, and the there. So we've got something going on with the thymus. Now, in this technology, you move the eyes in a certain key kind of butterfly pattern, what you call a limniscal pattern, and then you tap back to front, which accesses first the sensory cortex of the brain and then the motor cortex. So it forms an in-out loop of communication. And then what this does is it starts a process of change where the body goes, okay, I understand what you just said. There's a few problems with that. There's this problem. Okay, so that takes me down to the right ovary. We'll tap that in. That takes me up to the thymus again, okay? And that takes me to the right kidney and there. And then now we're going to run that pattern. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we get a grin again. Okay. Ooh. Now that takes to the thyroid. Okay, and the thyroid itself says, I can't, I don't know what you're asking me, please help me. See, if I tap here, it says, I, I can't. So here, we'll run that pattern and we'll tap it in like that. Okay, that takes us back to the uterus. <clears throat> Beautiful to have these communications. And now we're in a loop, we're just in a loop. So we're gonna follow this loop as it unwinds the pattern. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42 years ago, right to there. And then I'm just pausing because that's where we are. And you can just wait when things are happening and you can notice things are happening. Okay, now this takes me down to the wrist. It's probably a meridian down here because yeah, it's not the structures itself. So meridian, so we'll go here. That's the triple warmer right there, which is related to endocrine. There's the lung meridian. Okay, let's run those patterns. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now My sinuses we're kind of- just cleared up. <laughs> your sinus is just, that's good, that's good. We I got a normal come with that, but but that's that but that happens all the time. I, I'll come to you with one thing and, and like five other things will clear up. Well, that's the beauty of how everything's interconnected. Yeah. So right. now we have a normal sinus rhythm joke. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to go, <laughs> but a bump. We're going to we're going to go to the ischial tuberosity back here. That's now we're in structure, and that takes us to the hip. So those two things related: opposite hip to ischial tuberosity. That takes us up to the rib cage. Tap that in. Now we're going to run that pattern. That's going to release some of the structural patterns. Now all this is related. There we go. And there, that would be done. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, it's like that movie, you know, uh, the Money Pit. It's like kitchen's done, actually a bit overdone. Let's not go there anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Kay, how does that feel? Much better, actually. And and I, I don't have a headache at all. And my sinus is cleared up. And my my right leg actually feels better too. Believe cool. it or not, that was totally unrelated, but I guess it's related. 
everything's related. <laughs> well, well, you know, they say they say if you're in the same area, you know, and and, and yeah. for decades, then then you're all related. So, <laughs> and, and, I, and I and I feel less little less foggy too. You know, like brain fog, whatever they call brain fog. I feel clearer all around my head and in my head. It's nice. So that thank you. So that's that's. <laughs> That's the idea. That's what you're going to learn. Come join me. We'll see you there. Thank you. <laughs>